Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm here with my pointer, Remy. He's been training since he's been a puppy. I'm running him in a big field today and I'm tying him up on a 50 foot cord. I want him to get used to dragging this cord and when I call him to come straight to me, he's already very obedient on the come call, but this is just to make sure that he's used to it to the rope. So I'm gonna do a couple of videos of him running in the field. There's no birds here unless they're wild wild game birds. No um, home raised pigeons or home raised quail. I hope you enjoy the next videos that I'm about to share with you and that you enjoy watching Remy run. So here today I want Remy to learn to run really big and to come straight to me when I call him. He's already doing that, but in a new field, I want to make sure he understands how important it is for him to come when I call him. And I can just stop him whenever I want by stepping on the cord. So we have a, some field here that was uh, mentioned to me by a friend of mine, Tristan. So I'm gonna let Remy run here today and get a good experience of some field and what Remy just loves to run. The wind is coming from the southwest today. You can see he's already excited about this new spot. I'll be back with some more videos with Remy. You can see he responds to the whistle very well. I've been training him to do this for months now. He's just uh, he just turned 11 months old, three days ago. So I'm in here with Remy now. We'll be back. He loves the wooded area. He always checks for me. Good boy, Remy. And he always stays in front. He learned from a young age that I want him up in front of me. He always comes back and checks. Once in a while he does these stops like this, which is great. Love seeing that. So when you're training your puppy, when I'm training my pup, I don't call him a lot. I want him to get comfortable with the wooded area and to learn he can go anywhere he wants. As long as when I call him, he comes back to me. He has no beeper collar, no shock collar. Just 100% freedom. Good boy. And learning all the scent of the forest. If you watch some of the earlier videos, when he was just three months old, I was teaching him how to quarter in the woods. Good boy, come on. This is what he does now. We'll be back with more. Couple minutes. Here, Remy. What's really good is he just ran in the woods for 20 minutes. Now he's opening up in the field. This is great. This is how you teach a dog to open up in the field and stay close in the forest when you're hunting. He's always staying in front. He knows he has to quarter. Remy. Hey, there we go. running along the edges of the woods, which is perfect. This is how you find grouse and woodcock, pheasants. The rope is adding an extra little bit of tension. It's helping him train the muscles when it's dragging on the ground. Getting near some birch trees here. Come on, let's go, Remy. Come on. Whenever you get near a birch, sometimes you get some pine trees. You get some thorns. Part of the hunt. Remy is fully healed from being neutered. 
just a week ago and he's already in the woods and field hunting. Continuous training. Good boy. See, so he's uh, checking for me and staying close, which is exactly what I want in the woods. But we just flew up a, a woodcock. I'm gonna bring him into it again. He smelled it and he watched it fly. Okay, Remy pointed a woodcock and he watched it fly. It was great. Come on! Remy! teaching a dog obedience and coming when you call him and staying in front of you is spending a lot of time with him building the trust with the dog and uh, the relationship come on buddy Got a different wooded area here Jeremy still has lots of juice And that whistle, he shows up. Amy did really good today. I'm going to get it back to the car with all the water and food. Excellent quartering and listening. I ran through the field and the woods. Good boy, Remy. Yeah. Back, back to the car, buddy. We hope you enjoyed this fun stuff with Remy.